back with your boy Wrench Turner for another dope ass car review. If you've been paying attention before, I've put out roughly four videos thus far. Go back and check them out if you haven't already. If you didn't know, this video is being brought to you by Boston Bridges. Take the time out to go to the website, check out the merch. Make it your business to stay fly when nobody else is fly. This car review is being brought to you by the good people at Durham's Auto Mall. I can put it anywhere. See that? Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> With this beautiful 2016 Chevy Camaro. As you can tell, it has a full ground effects kit on it from front to back. And if you take a look at the back of it, you'll see that it has a wing on it also to match the ground effects kit. It comes with 20s on it all the way around, but you got your concaves on the back. You got your 285 30s in the front, and then you got your 305 30s in the back for added traction. All the way around, you got slotted and drilled rotors to help you stop on a dime. Because we all know there's no need to have speed if you can't stop. Now, as we look at the inside of this beautiful beast, as you can see, you got the red on the doors. You already see the bold sound system that has this thing sounding so wonderful. You got red leather on the seats. You got red in the back, and no, they didn't go cheap in the back. But uh, like I tell you guys, with a car of this magnitude, yeah, this is a cool. This is not a family car. Like, because once you put your seats back and you put them into a comfortable position, there is nobody that's going to be sitting behind you <laughs> under no circumstance. Unless you put your one seat, unless you put the passenger seat up and put your kid into the back seat. That's the only way somebody's going to get behind you. Now, with a lot of your newer vehicles, you know, you have your gas pop. Whereas you can push it and it just comes out like so. But like older vehicles that have a gas cap on it, as you could tell, this doesn't have a gas cap because they done away with the gas cap, which is really dope because now you don't have some dangling, messing up your paint while you're sitting there pumping gas. Congrats to the Chevy for that. And as we go to the back of this beautiful beast, you can tell that it has an aftermarket exhaust on it. You can see him poking out. And also you could tell that uh, just like the 2010 that I did the review on, that this thing has a low trunk. Then yeah, y'all see what's back here, right? Catalytic converter. So you know what's going on this thing. And we haven't even got to the cold start yet, so you already know on the cold start, this thing is going to sound super stupid. This thing doesn't have a whole bunch of trunk space. It has a, a little trunk space, adequate trunk space, you know, if you're going to get groceries or, you know, you might want to throw some drag radios in the back or something like that, but it doesn't have a bunch of uh, trunk space. You have your sensors back here because it has a backup camera to show you everything that you need to see while you're backing up in this beautiful vehicle and your camera sits down here they got it tucked in up under there which is nice now that we are done with the trunk we can get into this cold star cocaine awaken now
you know, and getting into this beautiful vehicle. Uh, I like it. I actually like it more than I like the uh, 2010. The view from here is different. All of your buttons, they they look like they just go. Um, let me turn this off so to stop beeping on you guys. But all of the buttons look like they flow. Like it looks like a flowing thing. Your AC components, your seat components, your radio right here is not like a pop-up that I mean a pop-up screen or whatever like other cars have. With this car, of course, you have your sunroof. You have your shift on the fly, which I always like. That's always dope. You got your buttons on the fly so you can control your infotainment. You can control everything basically from your steering wheel while you're driving. So you don't have to be doing one of these numbers and be trying to drive and at the same time. So... Yeah, I think that's really dope. Uh, Camaro made some breakthroughs. I mean, Chevy made some breakthroughs with this one. It looks really, really nice in here. I like the feel of it, the flatness of the steering wheel. That's really dope. The rest of your controls are over here. Your seats, your windows, your locks, your mirrors, everything is right there for you at the touch of a button. Now, as far as sitting in this car, I like the way it sits. Uh, you almost get the feeling as if you're like sitting on the ground, if you will. And then when you go to look out, see how far you are from the ground? That's the ground effects kit. That's the ground. Ground effects kit, ground. You're not that far off the ground. Which I love because, you know, if you got a, a, a shortened or yeah, a shortened center of gravity, you tend to be able to go faster. Um, anytime you can lower your center of gravity, you're on to something. If you don't lower your center of gravity and you're sitting on high like a truck, you can expect to not get good results at the drag strip. One of the other things that, well, let me show you that right there. Uh, it has 35,000 413 miles on it if I couldn't get that correctly that's 35,413 miles on it now when you look right here I'm pretty sure some people don't know what they're looking at but that's the tune because this car has a tune on it <clears throat> this car is really fast if I haven't said it before this car is dumb fast really really fast um, we're going to talk more about it once we get under the hood because uh, I got some, some goodies to show you when we get up under the hood. Just like most cars, you know, when you're on the highway and a car is coming too close to you, you got your acknowledgement right there. It, it, it'll, it'll light up. I don't think it will beep in the inside of the car, but I'm pretty sure that it will light up a pretty yellow while you're driving. Got the Camaro emblems right there. These Rohanas just, they make this vehicle look so brolic, so aggressive. Look at that, no space. Can't even stick my finger in there. Of course you got the red Rumbo brakes on it with the Camaro written on them. I don't have the wheel turned so that you can see it, you know, clear as you want to. But, uh, you can definitely tell this is a mean ass vehicle. It's a good picture of the Brembo brakes. I know y'all heard me mention that this car was fast, right? You guys already see the cold air intake. Now, I know you guys already know that this is a LS, big LS right here. It's got long tube headers on it. 
cold air intake. Uh, it's got a tune on it. You can already see other things that have been upgraded, which are not OEM. And, you know, just to take this car and to do little subtle things to it makes a big difference. This car has five part coilovers all the way around. If you look right here, you can adjust them right here. I mean, you guys that know about coilovers, y'all already know what all you can do with real adjustable coilovers. You can adjust the camber, the toe, all of that on your coilovers, the height, everything. <clears throat> and, you know, just the little subtleties that have been done, the painting of this, and it's not really a paint though, it feels like a wrap. But either way it goes, it's done nice and it looks good. <clears throat> and these ducks that you see on the hood right here, these are not here just for show. These things actually bring air into this engine bay, as they should, because what's the use in having false air ducts on your hood that don't do nothing? <laughs> you out here capping for no reason. <laughs> uh, if you look down here, you have stabilizers on it. You got stabilizers on the front and the back. Um, what I do is I take a, uh, I take a shot of the undercarriage of the car so then you guys can see right about now. now I could, uh, I could sit here and I can go on and on about how beautiful this car is. I can tell you the ins and outs about it. I can tell you how fast it is. I could even break down how many horses that it has. Excuse me. But the one thing that you won't be getting on this review right here is a drive. And the reason being is uh, with a car of this nature right here, you got, you know, insurance things that has to be in place with a car of this nature. And uh, furthermore, I'm not about to put myself in jeopardy, you know, with a car of this nature, even though I know what I'm doing. You know, like, like tall guy car review say, big chapter seven, I'm good on that. But the overall, overall look of this car, the overall feel of it, I mean, I've, I drove it over here, you know, on the lot or whatnot. Feels good, sounds good, whatever, but me personally, I already know. I get into a lot of trouble with this car. A whole lot of trouble. And uh, just to know that I got a whole lot of horses at my foot tips, for me to own it, I know for a fact that I'm going to piss a lot of police off. I'm going to piss a lot of cops off. And, you know, like ricers and guys that drive Hondas, I'm probably going to piss y'all off too. But this is why I said, me personally, I couldn't own this car because I already know everything that comes along with having a car of this nature. Because um, from everything that I've been told, the tune that's on it is almost top of the line. It's, it's only one more level to go on the tune before you maxed out on the tune. Then at that point, you're going to be looking at supercharger or turbo or some type of force induction. Just leave nitrous alone, whatever you do. Stop blowing up your cars messing with nitrous, man, just because y'all feel like that's the cheaper way to go and that's the more cost efficient way to go. But after you spend all that money on a nitrous kit, bottles, and refilling that bottle every time you go to the track, you've been paid for a supercharger kit or a turbo kit, regardless of who you got it from or even if you piece it together yourself. So just know with a car like this, you want to have it you want it to be fun you want to have fun in it but you want to fall back from catching tickets and <laughs> running from the cops and you know fulfilling your gta fantasies and whatnot <laughs> now that we're at the end of this video you've seen the outside of the vehicle you've heard the vehicle the only thing you haven't seen me do is whip this vehicle. <laughs> but now that we're at the end of this video, always know that 
peaceful situations surround you. You may not know that they do, but peace surrounds you. Most times, all you have to do is grab it. Because a lot of times, people are used to negative situations. People are used to drama-filled situations. You don't have to be one of those people that falls in line with what everybody else is doing. You can clearly say, I'm not going to have nothing to do with that. I am going to project myself in a completely different light. And you have every right to. Because you have every right to peace. Just like anybody else does. So regardless of how anybody else looks at you, how anybody else thinks about you, you have to take the time out and look at yourself and say to self, self, this is not how I deserve to be looked at. This is not how I am going to be looked at. And then it's your choice to change it. And regardless of who's being around you saying what, speaking negative, talking negative, or just trying to be negative to you, regardless of what, you can look at them, you can smile, and you can tell them to have a nice day. Until the next time, I hope to see you around. Wrench turn it to gang, 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 gang. Y'all know the car reviews. Let me get out of here.